What is going on everybody? My name is Jesse and we are back and today I'm playing a little bit of search and destroy on the map express And this is a game I joined a little bit late and my team was down already three to one And we don't end up winning the game in the end But uh, this is a game I wanted to show you for a few reasons First off, I had a really good opening round and I almost aced it I ended up getting five out of the six kills for my team Which is really good for me in search and I'll be talking more about that in a minute Secondly, in the next round, I have what I thought was a pretty funny death, uh, so definitely stick around for that. But the third thing is, for me, playing the game type Search and Destroy is really stepping out of what I would consider my comfort zone in Call of Duty. And that's what I want to talk about in this video today, is stepping out of your comfort zone and trying new things. But before I get into that, I want to talk a little bit about my class setup and the map itself. Uh, so like I said, this is the Map Express which originally I wasn't too big of a fan of, but it's kind of growing on me a little bit because the more I played it, I kind of figured out that I seem to do a lot better on this map if I stay away from the outside where the train cars are and kind of stick to the inside area of the map or, you know, like inside of that train station. In this class, I'm using the M27 with quick draw handle and a suppressor. And when I put a suppressor on this gun, it seems to get rid of almost all of the recoil on it. And I do feel... The damage drop off though and it takes a few more bullets to kill someone um, especially at a distance but staying off the map especially in search is pretty important obviously uh, my perks are ghost toughness and dead silence and I'm not sure if I even use the rest of the stuff in this class but it's a frag grenade and a couple of stuns I believe but getting back to what I want to talk about here so search and destroy oh how I hate the usually and I say I usually hate it but Things may be changing in that respect because so far in Black Ops 2, I've had a pretty good time playing it. So I guess I'll start off by saying that there are a few things I know for sure about my own skills in Call of Duty. And there are definitely things I know I can handle or accomplish if need be. But on the flip side of that, there is also a few things I know I can't do so well. Uh, one of them being sniping, whether it's no scoping or hard scoping or quick scoping or whatever else snipers kind of scoping they do in the game, I don't do it well. And I'm sure it's just a fact that I don't spend much time to practice to get better at it um, because I haven't. So for that reason, I suck at it. The other thing that I've always been bad at is search and destroy. Again, I attribute that to the fact that I've never put much time into playing it, but I'm Starting to branch out here, and I found myself trying all kinds of new things in Black Ops 2. And I know in this case, or in this video, I'm talking about branching out and trying a new game type. But with the new Pick 10 class system, the different combination setups you can create seems limitless. Oh, and coming up right here, this is where my death happens. So I get out my little paper airplane, and my teammate runs in front of me, and I just immediately die. I throw it right into his back. I don't know why he did that, and I don't know why I threw it, but I did. And we immediately lost the round and the game. But this video is starting to wrap up, so I encourage you to get out of your comfort zone a little bit and try some new things. And I don't mean you should go and abandon everything you're used to all at once. You know, start slow. If you're a submachine gun player, try using a shotgun. You might find that you come across some stuff that you normally wouldn't like, and you never would have known about it unless you gave it a shot. So have a little fun, because it's a video game. Deal? Alright, deal. Alright, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next game. Peace.